Jill, you're standing in front of a beautiful 63 Corvette. Can you tell us a little bit about what some of the unique underwriting challenges are when you're dealing with classic cars? Some of the unique challenges would be to make sure that from an underwriting perspective, we are ensuring a vehicle that the owner feels is a collector car. We're not looking to insure a vehicle that's old, but old and collectible. This is a fine example of a collector car. What are some of the most common claims you get with collector cars? Well, I think you could probably guess uh, towing claims, uh, windshield claims. Uh, we, we do have theft claims. So these cars do get driven. We don't have restrictions on our policy where they can only be used for parades or car shows. We encourage our customers to enjoy owning pieces of history like this, to get out and ride them uh, on a beautiful day, to take the family for a drive, to use them in car club events. One of the biggest features of a collector vehicle policy would be the agreed value coverage, uh, m meaning that when we insure a vehicle for a collector, the actual uh, collector value is stated on the uh, policyholders declarations page. It's right there in black and white so that in the event of a, a total loss there's there's no haggling. So Jill, for an independent insurance agent when a client comes and says they have a classic <coughs> car, they're thinking about getting it insured, what are some of the key questions and some of the background information that an independent agent should know about this class of business? Well, the independent agent is doing his customer a real favor to let his car collecting customer know about specialty insurance. Um, number one, for what we just talked about, the agreed value coverage is so important to collectors. And number two, a uh, collector car policy is going to save his client a significant amount of money. Our average annual premium for full coverage is around $200 a year. And if 200 is sort of an average or a sweet spot, what are some of the higher premiums and what would account for those higher premiums? Mostly vehicle value because the liability premiums are very low. These cars, as you can imagine, they're not on the road a whole lot. And so it's, uh, the, the, the price is really gauged to the, the value of the car. So a very high end, you know, high worth car worth a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars will, you know, will certainly, there'll be a higher premium attached to that. And any other options that might add price, whether in terms of the number of miles you can drive or any other, any other options or endorsements? Yeah, we have a number of mileage options in most states. Uh, most of our clients select the 2,500 mile tier. That seems to be right for most people who own cars like this. We, we do offer a 5,000 mile tier and we offer also um, a 7,500 mile freedom tier, which uh, gives uh, a client uh, even more flexibility than the regular policy because it adds um, the ability to the owner to use the car um, for some occasional driving. So if they wanted, for example, to take the car to work once in a while or to take it on vacation, the, um, the 7,500 mile freedom tier allows them to do that. What are some of the loss mitigation strategies that you encourage clients to follow with, mm -hmm. our, with their cars? Well, for example, this beautiful car is kept in the garage. That's number one for us. A customer has to have a strategy for keeping his car out of the elements and reasonably protected from theft. So that's the number one uh, requirement that we have. Why is this a good business? I and mean, why should in independent insurance agents be actively looking for these types of clients to, to have on their, on their roster? People who collect cars um, are a very special group of people. They are very enthusiastic about the hobby. And when they find an agent who, who re can relate to them over the car, that, that uh, works to find just the right coverage for the car, they not only have a, a deep appreciation for that, but they're also going to tell their car buddies, the, the guys that they like to hang with at, at shows and events, they're, they're going to tell their friends about the relationship and you're going to get uh, more business out of it. What are some of the trends you're seeing with classic cars? Is there a type of car or a, a decade of cars that's becoming more popular? In terms of trends, muscle cars continue to be very big. That's a very hot kind of collector car to own right now. We ensure the whole gamut of collector vehicles from the brass and wood antiques of the late 1800s all the way up to modern day exotic cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. You're a host of a radio show about classic cars. What, what's some of the insurance related advice you would give to your listeners about you know, if, if they're just beginning to explore the hobby and curious about the insurance options they have? Do your homework. Now, as a former school teacher, I always tell everyone that I meet, do your homework when you're getting involved with something. When you're going to be uh, insuring a classic car, you should find out about the company. How reputable is it? How do you do something like that? Talk to people that have been in the hobby a long time. 
They know the, the various companies. They do have their experiences with them. The other thing is, if you're going to take the time to buy a classic car and you crawl under it and you try to look for the details about it, you should do that with a policy. Make sure you're aware of what it covers. And again, if you have a question, you go back to your, your uh, representative over there and they're going to take care of you. And you could tell whether they're serious or not or how much they know just by the questions. You don't have to make it a test, but again, you could feel the passion. And in my 31 years with American Collectors, I've been very fortunate that whenever you do communicate with them, you know they're into cars. And again, it's, it's, it's like a, a very tight-knit group, if you will, and knowing that you have your ride protected is really special.